first, we have Terry Cruz. Now, you know Terry from his show, Family Cruz. You know him from Idiocracy. He's going to be Paramount's middleman, Terry Cruz. Me on. Uh, okay, next we got Steve Stone Cold Austin. See him in the Lord of the Star, a whole bunch of stuff. Are, are you going to rip your shirt apart? Okay, next you know him as Ivan Drago. We all know him as Dolph Lundgren, the original Punisher. Let's bring him out. He's been directing films and doing stuff, but now we can see him with Stallone again. Dolph Lundgren. Now, when I visited the set of The Expendables in New Orleans, I saw a forearm that scared the living shit out of me. That forearm belonged to Randy Couture. <laughs> UFC heavyweight champion, come on out. Seriously, the scariest forearm ever. Now, this next man, it, it's kind of hard to introduce. He wakes me up some mornings to tell me to put a story up on the site. I'm proud to call him my friend, Sylvester Stallone, Rocky, Rambo, Demolition Man, everything you love, the secret of the free show, Sylvester Stallone. in that tie up here. Well, you know, I, I thought about becoming a lawyer in case this movie doesn't work, so <laughs> Actually, I'll loosen it up and maybe hang one of these guys with it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. When Sly called each of you up to say, I'm putting together a team to kick ass, what do y'all think? Start with you, Terry. No, dude, he had me at hello. I'm, I'm just telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I mean, I'm driving on the freeway, I get a call, my agent's like, you gotta come down to Beverly Hills, you gotta meet the Sylvester Stallone. Dude, I run down there, it's a dark room, and I hear, hey, sit down. I'm like, I'm looking around, I'm like, yo, whoa, where did that come from? And he's like, hey, I don't wanna know if you wanna do this movie, what? right? And I'm like, yo, dude, you got That's not true. <laughs> No. <laughs> and I'm in. I'm in. It's the manliest movie ever made. Steve? You know, uh, when I first heard about The Expendables, I was down at my place in Texas, and I'd been hearing some rumors, and turns out Sly had already cast all The Expendables, but I got the call when I got back to L.A., and I uh, went down and met Sly, and he described the part of Dan Payne to me, and uh, obviously I'm the only villain here at this table. And being the villain, being the badass is something I've always enjoyed my whole life from my past career in pro wrestling. So Sly offered me the job on the spot and I took it on the spot because I'm a pretty smart guy. And I had a lot of damn fun making this movie with these guys and kicking the crap out of them. Now, Dolph, when uh, you, you did a tour of duty with uh, Sly a long time ago. Oh my God! Bruce Willis. The best. You believe that? There'll never be another 
Bruce Willis. Okay, before I continue, how fucking awesome is this? I mean, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. This is awesome. God, I wrote a scene for myself and the governor where, like, he would, he'd be trying to get his Hummer into a parking spot, and I'm trying to get my pickup truck, and then we'd get out and just punch each other in the face. I'm going, uh, you know, because it had to be quick, because he's governor. And then I tried to think of, for Bruce, a quick scene, and, and, and he was going to play like this CIA operative. Then, I, then Bruce said, hey, stupid, why don't you put us both in the same scene? That might work. I went, wow, you ought to be a director. <laughs> and and he, so... He came up with this idea, and he made it all happen, so thank you very much, Bruce. Thank you very much. Thanks, Richard. Good luck with the film. Thank you. Bruce Willis. You. <laughs> okay, Dolph. Hey, if Arnold shows up, don't let him in. <laughs> I've had it with him. He's too good. <laughs> it, it, is Arnold about to show up? <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. Dolph, so what was it like getting that call so many years later from Sly saying, hey, I want you to be a part of this team? Well, uh, you know, we, we uh, beat the crap out of each other 25 years ago, and... Uh, ah! I would, you know, we'd love to do it again, and Sly called me and uh, he gave me a great script and a great role, and uh, I was in. I wanted to work with him again, and, uh, and then the guys just kept piling in, <laughs> one after the other. <laughs> Suddenly I'm in this great cast, and, uh, you know, really, really grateful and really pleased to be part of it. It's been terrific. So did it hurt more in Rocky IV or in Expendables? Uh, well... I guess Rocky IV maybe hurt a little more, oh, but uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to do it again. He put me in the hospital for four days. Four days, and no thanks. Uh, yeah, Jet clipped me twice in the Expendables. If you write, write yeah, they went at it. He was Jet Li. I mean, that's a dream come true match. Talk about David and Goliath. That was fantastic. <laughs> Randy. So. You're sitting there. How, how did you find out about this project? How did you get involved? Well, my agent let me know that this movie was, was coming together, and, and uh, Sly called me in to come meet him and explain the script and the role that he, and how he saw it. And, and really, uh, I, mean, I grew up watching Rocky and Rambo. You know, the first Rambo was filmed in my home state of Washington. I was excited to be considered. And, yeah. And, uh, the, I mean, the cast was just amazing. 